Hi guys, my name is Akusia Adoma and I upload crochet related content every single week. So if you don't want to miss this, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on your post notification as well. If you are not convinced on joining the family yet, please continue watching this video and I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will be running to subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in any crochet or handmade related related content this is the channel for you i'll be challenging myself on creating 11 granny squares in just an hour however i made a sample just now for you guys to take notice of the type of granny square i'll be making this granny square is the diamond granny square the pattern is from craig's crochet i'll be leaving her channel information in the description as well i learned how to make this within a few minutes after watching her tutorial and i think it's one of the best looking granny squares which involves only two changes of colors one thing about this granny square is that you don't need to weave in a lot of yarns the only yarns you need to weave in is the ends and then the magic ring since i'm going to have a total of 11 for my circumference of my car wheel i would be adding 10 more so I'm going to set my timer and begin the project as soon as possible. For this project, I'll be using the Yeye Extra Yarn, which is made in Nigeria by Nigerian Yarn Spinners. It's 100% acrylic. I'm using two colors, obviously the green and a yellow color. So this is an unraveled piece, but the same kind of yarn. And I'm going to time myself for an hour exactly. Just excited to embark on this project. I've never ever timed myself self crocheting ever this video is going to include time lapse of me working on this project and i'll be viewing the, the timing as well are you ready are you ready to get into the video without much wasting of your time let's get right into the video so guys let's get right into the crochet granny square countdown i have my laptop here facing you guys as you can see i have the timer i just have to give it a click and it starts the countdown i have my yarns available and guys i can't find my pair of scissors so this is the <laughs> only option i have right now i just hope it doesn't delay my process so let's get right into the countdown
I finally reached an hour, guys. An hour. Oh. As you can see from my facial expression, I'm so, so super tired and super exhausted. But I just enjoyed this challenge. It just made me like alert and placed me on my toe to work harder. So let's let's have a count. How many diamond granny squares I've made? So this is number one, two, three, four, five. So I made five and a half of the square. So five and a half. This is the sample we made before we began the pattern. So five and a half granny square is not bad. Since you'll be changing colors, it reduces your progress in a certain way. Um, going to the next segment where I weave in the excess yarns for the granny square. And I'll be adding, is it five more? I'll be adding five more. So I'll be working on that. And then I'll come back and show you what i'll be doing next final review this is the total outcome of this steering wheel cover i went through a process of joining all my 11 granny squares and adding some borders just to level it up isn't it cute so we'll be going to my car and i'll be positioning it then i'll be putting it on the steering wheel and we'll see the final outcome so guys like are you ready for the grand review? I'm so excited. Ta-da! This is the final outcome of the steering wheel cover. Just check out the details. I attached this to secure with a steering wheel. So I just used a pin. You can also use a hook, but I used a pin or a darning needle to secure the ends to the steering wheel so guys just check the beauty of this colorful steering wheel cover isn't this so so super cute um i have a few yarns left i plan on making a few for my lucky subscribers so if you happen to watch to the end of the video you would be one of the lucky winners so yeah i'm so excited like <laughs> if this video was helpful and you enjoyed my vlog don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe turn on your post notification as well so that you don't miss out on any of my videos for now i'm just going to enjoy my steering wheel cover it's like anyone who is going to see my car would notice this and would be like how did you get this i'm going to be like i made this <laughs>